Hi, I'm Amy, and this is your Sewing Room Solution. This is all about needles. Well, not all about needles. <laughs> We'd be here till next Tuesday <laughs> talking about needles, but we're gonna talk about changing your needles. So many times, poor stitch quality comes from one simple thing, and that's changing your needle. A lot of people ask, well, how long does a needle last? I, some people say, well, I sew until they break. That's not the answer. The answer is about eight hours or pretty much one project, depending on what you're making. Now, let's say if you're piecing a quilt, if you're just a cotton piecer, you're gonna get a lot more use out of your needle than somebody who is embroidering all day long. Embroidery is a lot rougher on your needle than cotton piecing because it's much faster. Now, if you stay all day and you put zippers in Carhartt hunting clothes, well, you need a new zipper a lot more frequently than somebody who makes a silk blouse. So I guess it's a little bit of common sense. Now in the machine, I put a needle that's extremely dull. And a lot of times you can start to hear that pop, 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 pop noise. You'll hear a distinct difference. And you can feel on the surface of your sewing that the upper thread feels a little more raised and then underneath you can see a little more of the tension. That's the first thing you'll notice is poor tension quality. You'll hear a little bit of sound and it just doesn't feel like a tight seam. The first thing you do when you're having problems is rethread your machine. If that doesn't work, change your needle. Now when we talk about needles, yes, there's a thousand needles for a thousand different types of fabric, but the most common are a universal needle. And a universal needle is to handle most types of everyday fabrics, uh, cottons, um, let's see, polyesters, um, tablecloth, linens, it has poly blends, just normal everyday stuff. There's quilting needles that happen to handle uh, a polyester batting with a cotton on the outside and a cotton below so it doesn't bring you that scarfing where it pulls the batting to the top. Then there's metallic needles that have a nice elongated rectangular eye to help handle that really strange shaped metallic thread that feeds at a high speed so things don't break. And of course the all-important embroidery needle that has that rectangular eye, a longer scarf in the back, so it handles the high speed and it handles the rayon thread um, sliding through at a higher speed without any kind of breaks. Those are the most common specialty needles that I keep in my sewing drawer. Now, when it comes to universal needles, I'm a needle changer because the last thing I need halfway through my project is start to have tension problems, needle breaks, it's just not worth it. But something you might want to come in and check out are these amazing packs of uh, bulk packs of, of 100 needles in one pack. Now, you may have sticker shock when you pick up 100 pack of needles, but I have to tell you, it's almost half price of what buying the needles by the packs are. So, and, and needless to say, you're gonna have this pack in your sewing cabinet for a long time and not run out. So, when I open this up, I don't want these to fall on the floor. You can kind of see they're all thousands of them in there. And I usually keep an 80 universal in my drawer is my 100 pack. It's the most common needle that I use. And then my uh, titanium uh, embroideries, my metallics, my quilting. I usually have a couple spare packs of those just tucked away because if you're like me, we sew in the middle of the night when the store's closed. So you always wanna have extras on hand. So feel free to stock up. Now, when you go to see your repair technician, the first thing he's gonna do is put in a new needle. And you're gonna say, well, I just put a new needle in. He's gonna put a new one in anyway, because he's gonna to wanna to make sure it's the correct brand and type for your sewing machine. And that's very important. Most contemporary sewing machines, probably newer within 10 years, do use a universal type um, style, I should say, of sewing machine needle, but please check with your um, specific brand sewing machine dealer or come into the store and let us help you pick the correct needle. Nothing makes a sewing machine work or not work than a bad needle or put in incorrectly. That happens too. So they always go front to back, some of them go sideways, some go back to front. 
just depends on what you've got. Now I'm going to stitch off a little bit so you can hear that pop, pop, pop noise and learn to recognize it because it's your first clue that things are going bad and it's time for a new needle. So listen closely because this is your sewing room solution.